going on everybody? It's your girl Sneaker Mom here. Today I'm going to be doing my review on a Yeezy Phone Runner, Clay Tope. Let's get into it. with a box you got your same number phone around the box it's all brown on the outside of the box that's pretty much it for the box on the outside inside you just got your phone then you got your r and r for runner this same green tissue paper nothing spectacular but then you had a size tag on the inside of the box it says gg phone runner r and r and the colorway is clay taupe clay taupe and clay taupe as you can see that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get into the main ingredient of this video and that is a yeezy phone runner clay tope. Alright, first of all, I want to start off by saying this is one of my two cops off of Yeezy Day, which was a disaster in my opinion. I wasn't able to hit nothing on day one. Went for everything, hit nothing. I'm level four. Adidas, I mean, I don't understand. Like, I was supposed to hit something. That was nothing on day one. I was so disappointed. I really wanted those MX Rock ones that came out, the phone runners. And I had really wanted, what else did I want? Well, it wasn't too much I really wanted on day one. I did want those phone runners, and I wanted those blue slides. I really wanted those blue slides, but struck out on both of those, so I was like, whatever. Went to day two. I was like, you know, I'm just going to put in anyway just to see. I know I'm not going to hit because I didn't hit on day one. And bam, these come out. Oh, you're a winner. Really? I wanted the other ones. But I'm not going to complain. Got me a phone runner for retail, so you can't complain with that. And these is the clay taupe colorway, and it's not actually it's not a bad colorway. I'm loving the neutral tones we got going on throughout this whole shoe. It's a little dark, a tad darker from the sand um, phone runners. And then it's a couple of other phone runners that's out that we have been had. And it, it's so many different colors of neutral colors that if you did have one of those darker colors, you probably didn't want to go for these. But me personally, I love phone runners, so I definitely want to get up here. Glad I got these, but I really want those MX ones, but it's all good. Got these colorway right here. Very nice neutral tone, and you can pretty much wear everything like a light. Well, it's kind of like a dark beige uh, color, which is pretty smooth. We all know what phone runners look like, so I'm not going to sit here and just drag you on the aspects of the shoe, but it still, to me, looks like an alien shoe, but I love them because they're very comfortable. So, went for these, got them, got my normal size and these, which is a, a men's size 6, and uh, they fit me perfectly, no different from my other pairs. I've seen a couple other reviews where people were saying that the sizing was a little off on the MX ones, and I'm assuming because it got all those mixed different colors, and maybe that was something that they did differently with the material to make it a little tad bit smaller but these right here fit the same as these the black ones and all the other colors that I have they all fit the same so got my normal men's size 6 and they fit perfectly nothing uh, too tight just right for me and um yeah that's it this was the clay colorway um still got that whole EVA foam going throughout the whole shoe very nice and very clean but these um these were made, look like it was in August of 22, so I mean, they've been sitting a while, because we all know what uh, Adidas and Kanye West had going on. Glad they finally decided to release all the um, unreleased pairs, because I mean, why just let something sit there that you already made? So happy that we did have a Yeezy Day, don't know if it's going to be our last one. I'm hearing some saying that we're going to have some more, there's some more releases that they still have in the back they need to um, put out, so we'll see, but as for now... This is pretty much the last colorways we're getting that we just got on this Yeezy Day until we hear anything different. So, definitely gonna hold on to these. Can't never go wrong with a phone runner. Like I said, it's a perfect go to shoe, just like the Yeezy Slides. Slip them on and go, run your errands, do whatever, because they are very, very comfortable. And if you're still on the fence about getting a phone runner and you don't have them, I would say get you a pair because they are comfy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Yeezy. Uh, clay taupe colorway very nice and very different you can stay tuned to the end for that on foot just to see how they fit but overall same fit like i said as the last ones that i got and it's very clean like i said this is dark I'm, i got my sand colorway right here so you can kind of see the difference in the colorways this one is a tad uh, darker than this one is a tad uh this one is lighter looks more of a white color but they're both very nice neutral tones and you can't go wrong with a neutral tone so Glad I was able to cop. I did able to get those uh, black pirates waiting on those. I know they said like a 23 day wait, so we'll see. But they said that on these two, and I got these like a couple days later. So overall, very nice, very clean. 
Easy Day to me, I still say it was a disaster because this was all I hit on, but I got something and I know some people didn't get nothing. So y'all let me know down in the comments below. Did you go for anything on Easy Day? If you did, what did you cop? Let me know, have you received it yet? And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. This was the uh, right shoe, left shoe looks the same way. Like I said, nothing different. Same clay tote, same foam runner that we used to see in just this new different colorway that we got that came out. Clean shoe, I like them, I love them. They ugly, but they are comfortable. But that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So if you're new to watching my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakmom1721. Like I said before, stay tuned to the end for that on foot. And until the next time, oh, size and wise, like I said, true to size for me, pretty much if you go for these, go for your true to size, you should be good to go unless you have a wide foot. If you have a wide foot, then maybe you need to go up a size because they don't have half sizes. But before, I tried to go up to a seven before the pair, and it was very, very loose, and I didn't like how loose they were. So for me personally, I would say just go to your true size, and you should be good to go. But that's all I got for y'all today. So until the next time, it's your girl Sneaker Mom. Peace.